In this video, I'm going to show you how to add padding to the bottom of your HTML elements, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. And with that out of the way, let's see how we add padding to the bottom of your HTML elements over in the screen capture. I'll see you there. Padding adds space inside of an element, whereas margin will add space outside of that element. So if we add padding to the green box like we're gonna do in a minute, we're actually gonna make this box a little bit bigger. If we added margin, for example, to the right of this box, we would have white space between the green and the blue. So that's the difference. The difference is one will make the box bigger by adding padding, and the other will add space outside of the box. What we do, or there's two ways to add the, the CSS. Um, one is doing it inline, which is right in the HTML. I'm gonna show you how to do that, then I'm gonna recommend that you never do it again. And the other way is adding the CSS to your style block or to your style sheet. So let's get right into adding that CSS. So what we do is we find the div or the element that we wanna apply the style to, we click into it and we type in style equals open close quotes, type in padding, bottom and add 40 pixels, semicolon, save that file, refresh this page, and we see our box is extended by 40 pixels because we added 40 pixels of space to the bottom of the box. And the background of the box extends through the padding. So we added the 40 pixels and we still have a green background for that box. So we have this style, it's currently inline, which means it's right in the HTML. And the reason that's a bad idea is because if you have a very big page and a large amount of HTML and a large amount of pages, if you're adding styles like this in line, it's gonna be very hard to find what you're looking for if you wanna make any changes. And it's also gonna increase the file size of your HTML page, which is gonna reduce your page load speed. So the best practice is to put all this information, all the styles into either a style block if you have a manageable amount of styles or into a style sheet, which is then imported when a website loads. So in this case, we have a style block. In the head tag, we have a style opening tag and a style closing tag. And we have a box number two selector. And we're just gonna add that padding bottom 40 pixels to box two. I'm gonna save this page, refresh this page. Nothing changes because those are the exact same instructions. There's put a different spot, and this spot is better for maintaining your web page. If you want a refresher on how to create style blocks like this and CSS rules, please check out the links below in, this, in the description of this video, and there's a bunch of tutorials to help you get a grasp of what I'm doing here. That's all there is to adding padding to the bottom of HTML elements. Hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified the next time I publish tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn more about coding and get faster and better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.